In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about my fall nine patch sampler quilt. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So my fall nine patch sampler quilt is a quilt that I made back in 2017. So this is a sampler quilt. So that means it has different blocks and these blocks are set out in rows and columns, which is a traditional way to do a sampler quilt. Now I call it a nine patch sampler quilt because of the six different blocks that I used. They're all variations of a nine patch block. So a traditional nine patch block is like this. It's three by three and it's made of nine squares. So all these blocks are three by three made up of nine squares, except that in some of them, the squares are made up of triangles or of other smaller pieces. So that's why it's called a nine patch sampler quilt. So this quilt was made in 2017 and it was a sample for a beginner quilting workshop that I was teaching. And this is a great beginner quilting project. It takes you right from a basic block on gradually gets more complicated and builds your skills in traditional quilting. So even though this quilt was a workshop sample, I really love it and I still love it and use it. So when I was choosing fabrics for this, I knew I kind of wanted fall colors. So I love fall colors and I had this fabric that's used in the border and the sashing. And it has bright orange, green, a bit of purple, yellow. And so I used that as my inspiration. So I took this fabric and then I just found a bunch of fat quarters that coordinated with that. So the fat quarters are all tone on tones in similar colors to this fabric. And so that was a really great way to choose fabric. So this quilt is scrappy, but it's what I call controlled scrappy because the pieces are all from a certain group of fabrics so that it still coordinates overall. It's not just totally random colors. And then in each block, there are lots of different fabrics used. So for this, I didn't do strip piecing and mass production methods. I did make each block individually. So this block has nine squares and even the background squares have different fabrics. They are all tone on tone uh, kind of cream fabrics. And so these squares were cut individually and then put together. And so making each block one at a time really uh, gave a lot of variety to the fabric that was used in each block. So this quilt has 12 blocks in all. So it's a three by four layout and they're 12 inch blocks and then has three inch sashing and a five inch uh, border. So the size of this quilt is kind of small for a bed, but it's a really nice size to have on a chair or on a couch. And then for the quilting on this quilt, I did quilting that just follow the seams, but it's not exactly quilting in the ditch. I used a decorative stitch. And this is a decorative stitch that's just a wavy line back and forth. So even though I was sewing a straight line, it's much more interesting than a straight line. So this was a fun way to quilt. Um, it was quick and easy to do because I just have straight lines across and straight lines down. So using a decorative stitch on your sewing machine is always a fun way to quilt. So I learned a couple of important things when I was making this quilt. The first thing was using this as a way to pick fabric. So since I did it in this project, I have done that many times, is I'll find a pattern fabric that I like, and then I will use that as inspiration to pick colors that go together. Because in this pattern, obviously an artist already chose what fabrics we're gonna use together 
And if you like that one, you clearly like those fabrics together. So that is a great way to choose fabrics. And you can even use that as a way to choose fabrics and then not even use the patterned fabric in your quilt. This quilt would still look great even if the sashing and the border was just the same cream color as the background. These colors would look really good together. So that's a good way to choose fabrics if you struggle with choosing colors to go together. Another thing I learned from this quilt, that even though this is a beginner level quilt, I still love it. Simple quilts can still be really beautiful. And so I, I tend to have quilts in a couple of different categories. I have my hang on the wall quilts, and those are the ones that I really like or I really wanna show off, I wanna look at them. And then I have on the bed quilts, and then I have like cuddle up on the couch quilts. So this one, it could be an on the bed quilt, but it's a bit small, but it's perfect for cuddle up on the couch quilt. So every fall I can get it out and I just love the colors and I enjoy using it. So sometimes a simple project is a great option. If you want to see more details about this quilt, including pictures, you can click the link below to go to the post and you can see other quilts that I've made in my quilt gallery. All this is on my website, evenestudio.com.